Well, hey everybody, it's Frog Fractions. Revolutionary, the absolute best way to teach your child about fractions. Wow, how great. Accessibility? Eating sounds next gen. Classic. I'll do next gen. Colorblind mode. Doesn't appear to matter. Okay. Hey, let's play Frog Fractions. Okay, you ready to learn about fractions? Watch out for our indignity meter. There we go, two thirds. Five eighths. I gotta stop these butterflies from eating the fruit. Nine sevenths, very good. That's an improper fraction. One third. Yo, uh oh. I want that fruit. See, I got a fruit. One third. Three halves, three fourths. This is great. My indignity is going up a little bit, not gonna lie. I gotta see what I can do to stop that. I don't even know what made it go up. Was it the fact that fruit was eaten? I actually don't know. My identity is going up, this isn't good. Okay, we're good, we're good. So, upgrades, 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 upgrades. I think I'll go for... I do have six fruit. And 13 Zork mids. And look at my score, 52,823, 25 20ths. Incredible. I think I want to get the turtle. I can upgrade my lily pad to a turtle friend. You could ride him over to grab fruit off to the side. Who put that fruit there anyway? Yeah, I like more mobility. Let's go. See, so look what I can do now. I can wasad. Eh? Oh, I can arrow key too. That's even better for someone like me. I play the mouse uh, left-handed, believe it or not, just by being a righty. I just grew up that way. Oh, I'm missing that fruit. But I can get this one left. How about that action? And look at how much we're learning about fractions. In the end, isn't that what really matters? So we have five fruits now. Uh, this is durians. I can't afford that. Static cling tongue. Ah, I can't afford that either. Cybernetic brain. Anything? Hmm. Well, cybernetic brain, though. Anything your regular old frog brain can do, this newfangled cybernetic frog brain can do better. And it's cash, not fruit. Eight Zorkmans. I'll go for that. What does that do? Oh, perfect. Now we've got decimals and scientific notation. Look at how much we're learning. 8.57e to the negative one. Look at that. I feel like some kind of genius over here. I'm getting smarter already. I don't mean the frog, I mean me. Look at how much we're learning with these frog fractions that are no longer actually fractions, but... Ah, indignity up. But look at how much we're learning, though. I'm gonna be a genius before the day is out. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, nuts. I don't, I don't think I like this, actually. My indignity's really going up. I don't think I've ever seen that. For try, really? I don't think I've ever had that happen. It just says wave one, but I keep my fruits, it seems. I don't think I've ever straight up lost the round of frog fractions before. Maybe I'm not learning as much as I should. Ugh, it's a shame. I mean, we're still, we're still talking decimals and scientific notation, though. I still have my cybernetic brain. Right, so I'm some kind of genius right now. Anything that my regular frog brain can do, my cybernetic frog brain can presumably do better, right? Why not? And I could even move on my little turtle friend. And I got more fruit, you saw that. Oh, these flies, they're vexing me, but we made it through. Now I can get Durians. They smell awful, so bugs will take longer to eat them. Apparently, I need that. Let's go. Yeah, another durians. Durians apparently smell very uh, terrible in real life, so this game is is accurate to reality. I could stop these nasty insects. Look at that. Yeah, see, they're eating the fruit, but it is taking them longer. I notice. So that's good for me. 
We gotta stop these these bugs. I wanna upgrade as much as possible. Look at that. That's raw talent, baby. So now we have static cling tongue. Rub balloons against your tongue before extending it, and nearby bugs will stick to one another. Science. This should make my life a lot easier. Watch what happens when I catch Oh, typing! Nut! Note! Neck! Tone! Hone. I'm, I'm gonna fail to pick up a lot of fruit because we're too busy typing, but we'll do what we can. Ten. You're not gonna really see much of my static cling tongue at this rate, but you'll get that next round, I'm sure. Teeth. Getting a little trickier now. Five letter words. Whew! I made it through, though. So, lock on targeting. This eyeball installed auto targeting HUD helps you make a glowy red list of bugs you hate. Alright, I got it. And we're back to wave one. Looks like we cycled through. Look at that. Now watch this. See that? See that static cling? Also, by the way, I no longer have to hold down the button when I click. It just aims at the fly, which is very, very convenient. The only thing I have risk of missing right now is fruit when they drop. See? But if you get these bugs just right, look at that. You'll clear these rounds out like they're nothing. Okay, and, uh... Ooh! Uninstall lock on targeting. The chicks don't dig on cyborgs, and it makes licking bugs less fun anyway. Get the surgeon to uninstall it. Ten fruit, ooh. But I can't afford it. Okay, we've we've upgraded, downgraded. So now I have to hold the button for the static cling again, but the good news is once I hit something, all of his friends are hit too. Look at that. So even without the lock on targeting, I am quite the badass in my own way. Look at that. Look at how much easier it just makes these rounds. At this rate, we'll learn fractions or decimals in scientific notation in no time, am I right? Uh-oh. Get away from the fruit, buddy, so I need to collect this stuff in order to get upgrades. How else am I going to advance the game? There we go. Oh, up here. Lock on targeting. I can get it again. I sure do miss lock on targeting. It was pretty sweet. Yeah, let's get it back. Look at how easy this is going to make the gameplay now. Boop. Look at that. So many bugs, and they're gone like it's nothing. Oh. There we go. Got the fruit. Got the fruit. Ah. I missed the one on the left, though. Can I, can I redeem myself? The answer is a resounding yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we're saving it. Okay, okay. Uh, uninstall. Huh. I guess maybe we don't need this after all? So sick of lock-on targeting. It just doesn't have the friction of going all natural. Alright, alright, you got me. I'm sorry I wasted some time, but... Yeah, you know what? Going old school? There's a certain sense of satisfaction in getting these bugs, right? Look at that. Look at how laid back that is. That, see, that was all skill. That was not lock-on targeting. That was my aim plus static cling. I do apologize for missing these fruit, though. I'm getting a little excited catching these bugs. But you know what? I'm making it work. I am. Oh, I won the round. We're good. Okay, um... Oh, lock on targeting! Automation is what separates us from the apes, if you think about it. You know, you might have a point. Let's go for it. Oh, we're doing typing now. Sate. Honest. Enthuse. Nuns. Oh, I can't move to the right. Ah, nuts. I'll have to rely on just rapid typing. I don't know what to tell ya. Annotate, that's a tricky word. Tense. Thus. Shoe. Sunstone. I didn't expect that word. But look at that, I'm getting decimal points just for the fruits. Oh, uninstall! That's a good idea. Manual targeting is more fuel efficient and faster. Yeah, let's go. We don't need all this newfangled technology. Automation may sound like the way of the future, but I'm relying on skill to get my fruits. Look at that. That was all me, baby. You can't blame the robots for getting that done right. You know who you can blame? Or I should say credit me, the player, for doing it like a badass. And I even caught that fruit on my own while playing this with raw talent, my friends. I'm not even raising my... Oh, I just did a little bit, the indignity meter. But, oh, you know what? Lock on targeting. Lock on targeting frees me to focus my attention on the things that actually matter, like my kids, and deciding which bugs need to die first. Yeah, yeah, you know, 
I can't argue with that. S yeah, this is so much easier. And with less effort given to actually targeting the bugs, I could spend more effort on gathering fruits. A frog's favorite, you know me. Always going after those delicious, delicious durians. See, I got this side one over here. Gotta watch out for losing indignity, though. That's the real killer. Uninstall. I can't get that yet, and I'm gonna hold off on this other upgrade. I'll just say no thanks for now. I want to get a little more fruit before I'm through. I don't want to go too far with this. I need to really get on my game here and get the appropriate fruits. See that? Just like that. I'm gonna miss that fruit on the left, but I'll see if I can redeem myself. Yeah, see, you got this one in the middle. Oops. Got all of them. All of them. Uninstall. Studies show that manual targeters live longer and happier lives. You know, I can't argue with that. Who am I to argue with that? Let's let's go for skill. Pure skill. Think I can do it? Uh-oh. Oh no, I missed the fruit on the side, but I got that one in the middle, didn't I? You saw it here, folks. Look at that sniping. It's a little... Oh, no. This isn't good, though. I'm missing all these fruits on the side. And I might even raise my indignity at this rate. That's not good. I gotta redeem myself. You see all the wrong fruits. Okay, but we got some back. We got some back. Oh, hello. Locked on targeting. You know what's awesome? Waffles. I stayed in a hotel with the waffle maker in the lobby once, and it was amazing. Oh, typing time. Stunts. Addition. Dissonance. Innuendo. Deep. Handiness. Adenosine? Woo, I'm not familiar with that one. Ditto. Set seditious. Woo. Tricky words, tricky words. Nunhood. You gotta keep those nuns. Hedonist. Tuition. Okay, I'm racking up them fruits. Oh, we can uninstall our lock on targeting. Oh man, I could go for some waffles too. Is IHOP still open this time of night? Only one way to find out, my friends. Watch as I skillfully go after these bugs and... Oh, rats. But I redeemed that one. Ooh. I'm not doing myself many favors in the skill department though. Maybe I gotta level up my bug-eating talents. And really watch where these fruits are coming from. See that? That's how you rack up that fruit count, my friends. Take that. Oh, hey, lock on targeting. Yeah, man, I think so. Anyway, worst case, we could get frozen waffles at Max's. It's open 24 hours. You know, that's a good idea. And at this rate, I can maybe even rack up some more fruits, right? That's what I want. Gotta see which fruit's dropping first, though. Look very carefully. Look very carefully. Watch for the shaking. Yes. I redeemed myself. Oh, a present. Uh, in all seriousness, I think it's actually programmed that those presents are straight up impossible to get. They always spawn in a place you can't possibly get them, which is kind of amazing. Oh, and by the way, this is some quality of life right here. You'll notice that I wasn't even offered the upgrade screen because I couldn't afford anything that was available on it. I actually really do appreciate that from the, uh, the developers. If you can't get anything at all, then they're not even going to waste your time asking. So you have to click the uh, the no button of shame, right? There we go, there we go. Hey, we can uninstall lock on targeting. Awesome, let's get out of here. You know, that's a good idea. We don't need that lock on targeting, do we? Now I gotta do a little skill. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, but... If I'm skilled enough... Oh no! Oh no! I do have more of a sense of pride and accomplishment when I get these bugs without the lock-on targeting, but I'm not quite as accurate at getting them. Oh! I can lock-on target again! I'm still right about lock-on targeting, though. Yeah, you are! Watch how much easier it's gonna be when I can lock-on target. But first, pick a rune. Uh, whoa. Staffy luck. Wow. Accolade. Yo. Oh, whoops. This game's not messing around, my friends. Hydrofoil. Psychosocial. Got that one easily enough. Stultify. Oh, I saved it. Submerge. Got that one easily enough. Matchstick. 
narcolepsy, farcical, affliction. Oh no 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 no! Flat doodle. That's a common enough word. And I even racked up a couple of fruits. But I can't afford the big stuff, so we're back to doing a regular level. But I got a little bit of fruit. You saw it here first, ladies and gentlemen. I prevented it from hitting the water. Couldn't do anything with the left fruit, alas. But I'm doing what I can for the rest of the fruits I need to eat. Let's uninstall. Nuh uh. Yeah, good point. Let's go back to just the manual targeting. That's all you need. Not us, correct, my friends. Watch as I get this middle fruit. Left fruit, maybe? Ah, I couldn't save it, I'm sorry. Oh, this is potentially bad. I gotta save that fruit. I don't want my indignity to rise. And I think I might have missed that right- No, I saved it, and I didn't even get indignant. Look at that. Oh, wait a minute, we could get lock on targeting. M. Yeah, let's do it. Unfortunately, I only have five Zork mids, so I'll need to find a way to raise some cash, but it's been good so far. Look at what I've spent it on. Can I get, oh, maybe, maybe. And look at that. Racked up a couple more fruits. Uninstall lock on. Why are we still talking about this? Yeah, good point. Let's uninstall lock on targeting. We don't need this. This is ridiculous. Yeah, let's just go back to the classic style. Getting bugs the old fashioned way. Probably the superior way. You don't have to rely on cold, heartless machines to do the work for you. I mean, what kind of world are we living in when you can't even get bugs in your mouth with, with effort other than your own, right? I'm not sure that thought came out properly, but oh, wait a minute, lock on targeting, because the frog hasn't made the changes necessary to reach the next level of upgrades yet. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, we got typing now, a budding, bludgeon, brigadier. These are hard words for real. Bedraggles, descend, baguette, typing of the dead eat your heart out, bullocks, snuffbox. Agoraphobia. Lugubrious. Can you hear the sound of me screaming nothing or whatever he says in Grim Fandango? I lost track. Oh, hey, we can uninstall. Oh, when do you think I'll be able to? Yeah, I don't know. When am I going to get these upgrades? I have no idea. I'll do what I can. Grab some fruits when I can. I have zero fruits, though. That's actually really bad news. Because I need them for future upgrades, right? The good news is the lock-on is inexpensive, but I'll have to handle this carefully. As you can see, I'm not doing a good job of getting the optional fruits, because I'm so intent on targeting the flies. This middle fruit's taking a sweet time. There we go. There, I got, I got a little bit. I'm, I'm slightly redeeming myself. I got five fruits. Oh, left side. Perfect. Hard to say. Maybe he's just too comfortable with the status quo. Yeah, man, I don't know. This is a lot of upgrading and downgrading, but I want to see where this conversation goes. You never know what the lock-on and anti-lock-on entities might think of each other. Ooh, that's that fruit's a big question mark. Ah, what a shame, what a shame. But I can at least redeem myself with that middle fruit. The right one... I did it. Left one's not happening. Ah, oh well. A little bit. Okay, okay, racking up them fruits. That's understandable. When all you've known is the womb, the outside world is scary. Truer words never spoken, my friend. Thank you, uninstall lock on targeting entity. Really makes you think. But what about these other fruits? When could I get them? I need to find a way how to get out of this level. Do you think I could do it? What kind of genius will it take to make this happen, huh? 
the world may never know. No, 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 you stay away from my durians, my friends. Those are mine. How can we encourage Froggy to move on? Oops, by typing. Squamous? I don't even know that word. Dive. Brinkmanship? Excuse me? Uh, oh, effluvium. I actually know that one. Uh, activism. I don't know that one. Pejorative. Hey. Skywriting. Chuckwalla? What? Jambalaya. Quorum. Cow poke. Anti clockwise. That's a British way of saying it, isn't it? Should we? Are we really sure of ourselves enough to impinge on his free will? They're not gonna force me out of the level, are they? <laughs> you never know with frogs fractions. By the way, have you have you been learning? Cause I feel like I'm getting smarter by the moment playing this game. Look at all these fractions and decimals we know now. This is truly the finest of edutainment. There we go, look at all these fruits. I mean, wouldn't it be better off? I am actually surprised we're still going with that. <laughs> this game's an excellent troll. Bloop. 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 That present is not happening. There we go. Look at that, I'm cleaning up this neighborhood. Too bad I can't afford the next downgrade. Ah, I slacked on that fruit on the right side. I was so overzealous. I just, I just had to get those bugs. I didn't have a chance. There we go, look at all these fruits, it's great. We can't be sure of that. Maybe he'd just be miserable. And like they say, you can't go home again. By the way, just so you know, I've never gone this far with the the upgrading downgrading. I like I really don't know where we're going at this point. <laughs> Observation, baby, I did it. Oh no 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 no, stay away from my fruit, stay away from my fruit! Do not make me indignant, my friends. You're right. I'm not ready to take on that kind of responsibility. Look at how many upgrades and downgrades I can get. Isn't it wonderful? Down? After all that, we got an easy word. Heliotrope. Inundate. Planarian. Falconry. Odious. Aubergine? Uh, what? Obligato? What? Casserole. Precarious. Biting. We're getting some genuinely hard typing words, though. But you are willing to repeatedly give him the hard sell on the unnecessary surgery in his increasingly fragile brain to install lock-on targeting, right? That's a good point. Maybe if I rely on pure skill, I could find a way out of this level. I hope I can do it. Aha! Got a fruit, ladies and gentlemen. Easy every time. Where's the next fruit? There it is. There it is. And oh no. I'm gonna disgrace the frogs everywhere. But I can get some more fruits this way. Wow. Hmm, perhaps I've been too confident about my point of view. I, wow. I really didn't think we were still gonna go with that. Bloop. Look at that, I'm eating flies like it's nothing. Easy every time, my friends. I'm clicking without a thought in the world. There we are. Let's grind these fruits into oblivion, my friends. Haven't we all been on occasion? Uh-oh, back to wave one <laughs> again. I would love a way to get more fruits, but it's just its just so hard sometimes. But I only need a... Oh no. 
I only need a couple more fruits in order to be able to restore my lock on targeting. I don't want to miss out on that, you know? Yeah, see? Too right. It's a very human thing to do, isn't it? There we go. So far, so good, right, ladies and gentlemen? Look at how easy it is to get these nasty, nasty insects now. Lock on targeting is truly the way of the future. Too bad my paying attention to fruits is not the way of the future, but I'm saving it. And this music's so relaxing. I don't know if I've pointed that out yet. I don't think I have. But it's a great way to grind fruits. Detention. Inexhaustible. These words are getting genuinely tough. Major Domo. Scuba. Silepsis? Detonate. A bridge. Necropolis. Unkempt. Easy every time. Sonnet. Easy every time. T. Have we come full circle? Eclair. And it wasn't so bad, was it? It's important to respect your nature, but it's also important to realize when your nature runs in opposition to the person you want to be. Too true. I'll make a deal with you. If the conversation continues on another column, I'm just gonna go for the next different upgrade I can find. I can't have this going on all day. As much as I like the philosophical discussion. Where's the next fruit gonna fall from, though? That's what I wanna know. That's where? And I even saved it. I missed the middle. Oh, no, I didn't. Whatever, it's fine. Wow. Well put. Hmm. Nah, I am tempted. It cannot possibly go on for longer. I lied because I want to see video game content. That's my thing. But I'll, I'll tell you what, for real though, this is going to be the, the last column because it freaking has to be. So let's gather some fruits and make our frog proud. You won't escape me, Durian. I think that one will escape me. So, I'll, yeah, middle one. Thank you! What a pleasant conversation. I'm glad that the pro and anti lock on targeting entities managed to work things out. Too bad I can't seem to work out how to save these durians, am I right? I don't want to embarrass myself in front of the other frogs in the lily pad, you know? I have a reputation to uphold of getting fruits. And look at how good I'm getting at this edutainment game. I missed a presence, but I think you absolutely must miss presents. So I guess you can buy lock on targeting if you want. Got it. Oh, it's typing time, my friends. Juvenescence? I, what? Statue? Periwinkle? Pentadactyl. Wow. Prosciutto. This is hard. Ellipticity? Damn. Periscope. Satiated? Icefall. Oops. Egg beater? Epicenter? Heraldry? Whew. And if you change your mind, you can remove it again. Alright, like, I, I'm... The next time I get whatever it is, 8 or 10 fruits, I am gonna go in a different direction if that was somehow not the end. <laughs> yeah, those presents ain't happening, my friends. I apologize. I really do think it's impossible to get those, which is pretty funny. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it just loops. It's, it's looping now. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the lock on targeting, so I'm gonna keep it this time. I've, I've actually reached the end. Wow. That took a little while longer than I thought it would, but I made it happen. Oh no. I was stuck between two. That, that is a straight up example of a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. I went for both and focused on neither and lost both. I was hoisted by my own petard. Well, we're almost there actually. We're gonna get the next upgrade and advance the game. Which is great, because I need to find an upgrade. I'm not getting as many fruits as I would like, to be perfectly honest, and I would 
like to get more fruits. What can I say? Look at all these nasty, nasty bugs. Get out of here. Stay away from my lily pad, my friends. Which is actually not a lily pad anymore, it's a turtle. Best to keep that in mind for future reference. So, yes, yeah, so now it's looped. I'll, these upgrades are locked. I can't. I mean, I can tell what they are, but I don't want to spoil myself. So let's go for a dragon. Upgrade your turtle friend to a dragon friend. He will love his new dragon shape, I swear. That shell is just holding him back. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah! Wait, what? What are these? Are those hurting me? Or? I don't know what's hap- What the hell? I- What? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I seriously don't understand what's happening. I'm gonna go down, though. See, that's the secret. You can go down. Watch my fruit count. Oh, that's a- Like a billion. Ha <laughs> ha ha! I have all the fruits I can want and more. And my score is very good. 2.87e plus 3. That's impressive, I think. The fruit like a billion, though. I was laughing out loud when I first saw that. Alright, let's finish this round without dying, I hope. I, I seriously don't know how to do this. Yeah, see, I think I lost, but do I keep my fruits? I keep my fruits! Alright, so all I have to do is... I think the- that's what it is. I, th I think the balls, like the, the energy thing, stun me. So as long as I'm not being hit by them, I can take out these flies. Or these- whatever these insects are. I just have to be careful. I think we'll just let these things get off the screen and I'll be good, right? No, I'll just keep going up, I guess. Actually, wait a minute. What if I go to the right? Can I do that? No, nah, what if I go all the way up? I'm getting a little indignant. Let's maybe... We cool? Alright, I finished the wave. I finished the wave. Hey, we have other upgrades now, my friends. Warp Drive. 25,000 fruit, but I have like a billion so I can afford it. Install a warp drive on your flying dragon. Now he will really take you places. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. What? Glad you could finally make it, Lieutenant Hop. We're dealing with a serious infestation here. What? <laughs> Why is there a hamper? Be careful around those asteroids. Don't let them push you around. What was that talking? That was weird. Why is it a shoe? Now, I've never seen those bugs shoot at anyone but you. I think they might be racist. What? I, I admit I did not expect this. Don't forget to avoid bullets, Lieutenant Hop. Why? I'm a lieutenant this whole time? My friends, I was not aware of this. But I, I can still pick up fruits if I so desire. Hey, this music's pretty great. There's Bug Mars now, their home planet. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting, we're get, we're getting deep lore. Did you know these things had a backstory? Do a barrel roll. Thanks, Abraham Lincoln. I I don't know if I can really, but I'll, I'll try. You let the asteroids push you around. We said not to do that. I'm sorry, dog. I, I I'm sorry. This music's pretty great, though. You got to admit. That's not these bugs, but I do see Bug Mars. I can't believe they came all the way from Bug Mars just to interfere with my devouring a fruit. They wanted to eat the fruit instead. That's not cool. Good flying with you, Lieutenant Hop. See you on the other side. All right, look at that. We made it. Warning: No refuge. Be attitude for games. Oh, hello. I wonder if I have the big guy over there is any tips about dealing with fractions. I do, my friends. I gotta be careful now. The spider robots is intimidating. Destroy the core. You're under arrest. Thank you for your cooperation. What? No, that can't be right. No! Mr. You're not ready to dress for court. I'll be waiting when you get out, I promise. Mr. Hop, the charges against you are severe. You're accused of breaking and entering into our native habitat, Bug Mars, with intent to purloin our delicious space fruit. How do you plead? Oh, no. Guilty, Your Honor. Not guilty, Your Honor. Amphibious, Your Honor. You've got the wrong dude. My name is Mr. Leap. Has anyone ever told you that you look delicious? Oh, God, I'm surrounded by bugs. 
Oh, uh, you look delicious. Not with that glassy-eyed stare, no. These charges carry a minimum sentence of 20 years hard labor. But there's a special offer this week. How would you like to become a naturalized citizen of Bug Mars? Absolutely. I love it here on Bug Mars. I've never been to a buggy or Mars. You drive a hard bargain. I'll take the labor. I don't know. What are the hours? How do you feel about bribes? If you'll just reach into my front pocket... Get them off! Get the bugs off! Hmm... What are the hours? A dutiful bug Martian must always be vigilant. The space fruit aren't going to steal themselves. Here, all you need to do is pass a test on the history and culture of this fine planet. Shall we begin? Our bug flag is four bug stripes. What do they represent? Peristalsis. Synecdoche. I actually know what both of those are. Bugs. Crushing our enemies and our powerful mandibles. Protecting my precious space fruit from you goddamn cummy space bugs, your honor. Mm, hate bugs, hate bugs. Ooh, I'll go with... Protecting my space fruit. That's, um, actually correct. Next question. On the series Bug Jersey Shore, what is Bug Snooky's favorite flavor of ice cream? Vanilla, cookie dough, bug. Trick question. Ice cream is unheard of on Bug Mars because of the climate. I don't, um, really watch TV, Your Honor. I think they're in my hair. I can feel them crawling around. Cookie dough, for sure. Bug chip cookie dough, of course. Four score and 20 bugs ago, Bug in Chief Bug Thomas Jefferson wrote in the Declaration of Bugs that we are blessed with which inalienable right? The right to bugs. Own sentient space for the slaves. Refuse to testify against your hive mind in court. Parade around in the courtroom and only your knickers. How the hell should I know? I'm a frog. Oh god, bugs everywhere. Luckily, you're only granted that right once you're already a citizen. During the War of Bug 1812, General Stonewall Bug Jackson held off the nefarious frog armada single-handedly. How many mecha frogs did he crush under the wheels of his Mercedes bugs? Enough to reach the ground. We don't know. They hadn't invented counting back then. 420. I swear they counted them twice. That's not just a pot joke. None. He didn't learn to drive stick until after his divorce. They bite, oh, they bite, oh, they bite, 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 bite. Uh, hadn't invented counting. Do you know what percentage of students didn't graduate Bug High School in those days? Neither does anyone else. Last question, Mr. Hop. How do you feel about fractions? I almost told there'd be no math on this exam. Oh man, I love them. They're an intuitive way to represent the non-integer value. I'm actually leaning slightly towards scientific notation these days. I don't know, I've never really dealt with them. I think my chair is made of bugs. Am I made of bugs? Scientific notation, because that's true. I think you're a huge philistine and I hope you die, but that is correct. I'm impressed, Mr. Hop. Yours is the first perfect score our fake naturalization program has ever seen. We were going to fire you into the sun, but instead we've decided to issue a work visa. If you'll just sign here. Yeah, F yeah. Fist pump. YOLO. Bug bug bugs. F yeah. Oh, Bartholomew Sellians, working holiday visa. Date of birth, bug. <laughs> June 5th, 2012. Unless it's like European style, in which case it would be May 6th. Chitin donor. 1245 Bug Street, Insectopolis 1101. 1.5 centimeters, 22 grams. For novelty purposes only. Uh. I'm doing this with my left hand, by the way. This is really difficult. <laughs> I'm actually genuinely impressed with myself for that one. Done. Wave. Mars. Mars fractions are the best fractions. You're gosh darn right. But what happened to the sound? Oh, there we go. Watch out for these bugs. I gotta get these space fruits. Look at this. Now I'm working for Mars. This isn't so bad. I got a work visa. I'm a naturalized citizen. I can eat more space fruit. I can catch more bugs. I have like a billion fruits still. Oh, we have new upgrades, my friends. Or a new upgrade. PR department. Too expensive. Wait, to purchase Merv Tongue, insert a twenty dollar bill into CD round drive. I can't do that, but I can do PR department. This well trained team of marketers ensure that the public has the correct impression of you. Oh no, but it costs two thousand Zork mids. Oh no, I have all the fruit I could ever want, but I don't have Zork mids. How do I get Zork mids? I'll have to do no thanks. I I can't afford this. Can I go down? I can. What if I go up? Excuse me, my friends. No, I'm going down. I have to get out of here. Because you'll notice I've never gained Zorkmans in this entire game. I started with 10 and I spent. So I'm going to have to go down and escape. I'm sorry. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I reloaded this part because, like, I think the, the sound died. We got this cool music in the background. 
So I'm gonna go through the uh, the court thing uh, one more time here and hope that this works. And I don't believe it matters what options I choose. Uh, 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 not my finest work. Done. Alright, now we're gonna escape. Yeah, the sound died earlier. I was a little concerned because my tunnel escape... There it is. I was concerned because my tunnel escape didn't have any sound, and there's supposed to be sound here. As conceived in 1632 by Portuguese printing press operator André Felipe, boxing was a gentleman's game in which two men would square off and regale each other with stories monotonous for days on end until one of them fell to the ground from boredom or exhaustion. <laughs> Over the next few years, the new sport developed a respectable following of a few hundred local socialites. This is the quality content we're missing. This time I'll go left. It was Felipe's son, Andre Felipe Felipe, who developed what he called the punching strategy in 1637, after seeing a schoolboy strike another in anger, causing him to fall down. <laughs> when Andre Felipe Felipe challenged the then champion, British expatriate sleepless Bill Bishop, to a match, Bishop was the odds on favourite. You can imagine his surprise when, while he was describing what he had had for breakfast that morning, Andre walked up and thumped him in the neck, sending him down for the count in the parlance of our time. This is amazing. This is legit boxing, you guys. Andre Felipe Felipe. While it was universally agreed that the boy had violated the spirit of the game, officials were unable to find any actual rule that punching violated and were forced to let the victory stand. This upset caused an uproar in the boxing community large enough to spill over into local newspapers, which drew the interest of many outsiders to come see what all the fuss was about. The newcomers were enthralled to engage in these borderline barbaric displays of human strength and skill. And the rest is history. After a few sports sports school moms single-minded about safety added the padded gloves, of course. That's boxing, ladies and gentlemen. That's how it happened. And now it's a legit maze, by the way. I'm actually trying to find my way out. And I fear I've blown it. Alright, let's go a different way. This isn't my sense of direction, though. This is just guessing incorrectly. Can't blame me for every time I go the wrong way. I mean, this literally is my fault, but it's not like it was a stupid move. I just was incorrect. Today's boxing enthusiasts fantasize about a newcomer that would rock the ring the way Felipe did. Calcification of the modern rule set has essentially locked the punching strategy into place, but it's easy to get caught up in the fantasy. Young scholars with big dreams often enter the ring with their crazy new trick, usually a variant of hypnosis, and though they've achieved the occasional victory, none of the gimmicks have been robust enough to make it to the big time. This is all true facts about boxing, ladies and gentlemen. This music's really good. Oh, okay, here we go. Also, why are the pathways the real all just... Though, ...is that Andre Felipe's original vision of boxing is still around. Gentlemen's boxing clubs can be found in cities all over the world. You can visit one most any day of the week, and see two erudite gentlemen exchanging pleasantries in the ring. <laughs> most people only come to watch a few hours of a match, and then leave. But every once in a while you'll find amongst your elders a stout fellow, a die-hard fan, who perhaps witnessed that historic battle between Felipe and Bishop, who for love of the sport must stay to witness the last glorious seconds of wakefulness slip away, only to return to fight again another day.
I was going to ask why the tunnels were suddenly with hard straight edges, but then it came out curved again. And now we've found an escape? Command module! Is that it? The rumbling seems to have stopped, and you feel the intense downward pressure let up. After a moment, you calm down enough to start taking in your surroundings, for the first time since the seemingly dormant vessel sprang to life. Command module. The walls of the circular room curve to meet at the point that must correspond to the curved nose of the outer hull. Lined in the walls, you see a porthole, a glowing display, and a control deck. A ladder leads aft. If you don't know how to get started, type help. Press enter. So yeah, look, examine, inventory, get wrench, enter phone booth. Remember the Adventure Gamer's maxim, if it's possible to do, it must be good and wise. That was just an example, there are no wrenches in space. <laughs> enter phone booth. This is amazing. Okay, so, um, look, porthole. Through the porthole, you can see a background of stars shifting as the ship gently spins. The constellations are unfamiliar. Um, look. Display. A glowing green display shows a map of the galaxy with a destination you don't recognize marked and an ETA of about 3,000 years. Looking closer, you see two buttons. Route details, new destination. The screen spills a slew of steps such as spirals. A slew of steps such as spiral. Weird. Spin it at spath system. Far faster than you could fathom. What next? Um, new destination. It dumps you into an interface so abstruse that before you even consciously process what's happening, you've hit the back button or the main map again. Look. Console. I only really understood as far as luck. Uh, look. Oh, control deck. The control deck consists of an array of switches and a pair of joysticks. Let's hope you never need to override the ship's autopilot, because these are definitely not frog joysticks. Look, joysticks. Alright, that doesn't help. Um, climb, ladder. Captain's quarters. It looks like an all-purpose living area. A sleeping pod sits next to a nightstand. A ladder leads to the floor. That's the way I came in. An oriental rug lies in the center of the aft wall. Look, rug. Decorative oriental rug sits in the center of the room. Looking at it more closely, it doesn't quite lay flat on the floor. There's a significant dip around the middle. Lift. Rug. Moving it, you discover a recessed hatch. Your score has gone up a two-fifths of a point. Hooray. Open. Hatch. You have to work it a bit, but after you give the wheel a few spins, the hatch pops open. Enter. Hatch. Engine room. Nearly every surface in this room is covered with a sticky pink goop, which seems to be thicker near a gray machine sitting in the corner. A hole in the wall exposes a nest of wires. There is a hatch leading back to the captain's quarters to the fore. Look. Goop. A thin coating of pink covers every surface of the room. Take. Goop. It's stuck to the surface. Eat. Goop. You're not hungry. I didn't think it would even go for that. Look. Machine. A spigot aimed at a flat platform, a handwritten sheet of paper has been hastily taped over the base. Read paper. Out of order note, included in your game package. Okay. Um, take paper. You rip the note off, leaving a piece of electrical tape behind and revealing a control panel. Look panel. Most of it's rendered unusable by the goop. You see a row of what look like radio preset buttons, all but two of which are stuck. There's a big red lever. None of them are labeled. Look, buttons. Two of these look like they're not complete. The right one is depressed and the left one is raised. Press, button. The raised button clicks into place and the previously selected button pops up. Local currency, says robotic voice. Press, button. Mom's specialty. Okay. Pull lever. Whoa. Dispensing mom's specialty. Pink goop streams out of the faucet. Welp. A couple drops land in your mouth and you recognize the flavor. Bacon milkshake. Atmospheric anomaly detected, different voice says. A whirring sound ensues, and the bulk of the goop is sucked into invisible vents, leaving just enough goop around to be gross and annoying. Atmosphere purifies this triumphantly. Press button. Pull lever. The machine whirs, dispensing local currency, and a thick stream of Zorkmids shoots out of the faucet. Bounce off the flat platform and scatter around the room. Take Zorkmids. You spend a few minutes gathering them. My score has gone up by a third of a point. Look. You know, every service is covered with a goop, a hole in the wall, a nest of what? Right. Look, wires. 
Um, empty coffee can that you're guessing doesn't belong there. Take can. You twist the can and it comes loose, but you've ripped the insulation off of an adjacent wire and it begins sparking. You glance at what you've taken. It really is a coffee can. Take tape. Use tape. Use tape on wire. You wrap the tape around the bare wire, insulating it. My score has gone up by one and two-thirds points. Yay! Look. Hole in the wall. Look, wires. My impromptu insulation will hold fast for a little while. Look, can. An empty coffee can. Um. Enter hatch. I'm gonna go back. Captain's quarters. Sleeping pod. Look, pod. Sleeping pod looks like a bed with a lid, but you have to assume it's got some sort of suspended animation functionality. I mean, right? There's a hole on top next to a gauge reading empty. Look, hole. Uh, look, gauge. Okay, um, enter pod. You can't enter until you're confident you return to Bug Mars by the end of the trip. Okay, just basic look again. All purpose living area. I've pulled the rug. Okay, so climb ladder. I'm back in the command module. I see a porthole. Look, porthole. I can see the background of star shifting that's right. Look, display. Coordinates I don't recognize. Root details. Look. Um deck use joysticks you have to be more specific we want to do with the controls um ooh pull switch don't do that take joysticks not something you carry around the walls of the circular room curve to meet at a point so it's not circular um, look, point, um, look, nose, hmm, just basic look again, this is actually kind of tough, uh, wait, use, can, um, look, inventory, help, um, Examine can. What have I taken so far? This is going to be a nuisance, actually. I took the can, I took the Zorkmans. Yep, that should be enough. Yeah, but for what, though? Hmm. You know what? Climb ladder. Maybe I'll fill the coffee can, right? Enter, hatch. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, nightstand. A single drawer, open drawer. A thick manual, take manual. Read manual. A manual for the navigation computer. I feel confident they know how to use the controls to go back to bug Mars. Great, my score's gone up by two and a and an eighth points. Okay. Uh, climb ladder. Um, look, deck. Use controls. Um, fly. Bug Mars. Um, go Bug Mars. Uh, look, display. New destination. I deftly plot a course back to Bug Mars. The engines roar and you feel G forces shift. The ETA reads 57 and 3 fifths years. Huh. I run a diagnostic and determine that the vast majority of the time is going to be spent going through Bug Customs. Luckily, I could sleep through most of it. Okay. Climb ladder. Uh, Captain's quarters. Use pod. Open pod. The list seems to function automatically. Okay, um, look, pod. Looks like a bed with a lid, but I have to assume it's got a suspended animation functionality. There's a hole on top next to a gauge reading empty. 
Oh, that's right. Enter hash. No, wait. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take goop. I can't get a meaningful amount by collecting a loose goop. Use coffee can. Take goop with can. Take goop can. Um, coffee can goop. Uh, pull lever. Unable to dispense local currency. Press button. Pull lever. So more pink goop streams out. The vents do their ineffectual thing. Atmosphere purified. Look. A hole in the wall nest of wires. Take goop. You can't get a meaningful amount just by collecting loose goop. Alright, fine. Let's do this. Enter hatch. Look hole. Uh, use Zorkmids. Um, Zorkmids hole. Press button. Is there a button? Look pod. There's a hole on top next to a gauge. Open lid. I just can't seem to do that. It functions automatically. How do I make this work? Oh, wait a minute. Climb ladder. Look display. A route back. Look deck. Pair of joysticks. Yeah, no. Look display again. It's a navigation computer, though. This is frustrating. Look. Yeah, huh. All right. Climb ladder. Sleep. That's it. Okay, I feel like such a fool. Your head has barely touched the pillow when an alarm begins repeating. Perfume chamber empty. You'll make up cranky. You assume it's going to stop eventually, but a couple minutes later, it still hasn't. To get up, there's no way you could sleep like that. Perfume chamber, though. Where do I find perfume? Unless. Look, nightstand. Oh, the drawer's empty. Read manual. Refresh my understanding. I know how to use the internet. And the internet, the interface. Fine. Enter hatch. What about perfume, though? Look, machine. Spigot. Okay, use can on spigot. You place the can below the spigot. There it is. Pull lever. Dispensing mom specialty, and it's, it mostly gets everywhere, but the coffee can does end up filled. There it is. Enter hatch. Use can. Pour goop. Um, look can. Fold the sticky pink goop. Right. Look lid. Put goop in hole. You bring the can close to the hole, and the hole sucks the pink goop right up. The nearby gauge fills up. My score has gone up by nine halves. Sleep. Yay! You lie down, go to sleep, and then you're secure. Then in 57 and something years, you return to Bug Mars, a wealthy frog. When you wake up, you're clearly not in your sleep pod. You blurrily glance around to get your bearings, and you appear to have been sleeping in a heart-shaped bed covered with roses. A voice comes from the next room. Awake already? A wispy human figure in a bathrobe and crown walks in. She bends over and kisses you on the nose, and suddenly you feel your body shifting. Yay! She laughs and claps, and you realize you've been transmogrified into human form. I was the frog prince. What? 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 I can't, I can't use my tongue as a human tongue! <laughs> Watch out, man. They're eating your fruit. I forgot about this. Oh my god. There's nothing I can do about this. Now I'm super indignant. I awake with a start. What a horrible dream. You call your friend Draggy the Flying Dragon just to talk to someone. Yellow, Draggy says. I just had the worst nightmare, you explain the situation. I'm not sure that a support group for human bug eaters is really going to get much of a following, Draggy ponders. Maybe if we drummed up a little publicity first? I know, just the PR agency. Five minutes later, Draggy shows up at your door dressed to the nines. He tosses a frog tuxedo at you. Put this on, babe. We're running for president. <laughs> Alright. Candidate Hop, what say you to allegations that you're not a natural-born citizen, that you're under 35, and that you're a frog? 
I don't freaking... What? I forgot about this. It's Step Mania, baby. Huh, get ready. Uh, 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 uh. I'm actually alright at this. Ah. Oh man, you smoked him. You're a shoo-in for president. That's hysterical. That's my response. <laughs> Yay! What the hell? <laughs> Betsy Blue Bonnet. Sir Clarence Gastropod. Yeah, this game's genius and a half. Ferdinand Croker. Flaps McQueen. This game is friggin' genius. Morag Gile? I I'm not sure how to pronounce the one, I'm afraid, I'm sorry. And introducing Draggy Ceiling Eater as himself. Created by Twinbeard. That's the actual group that made this game. Numerators and denominators! Frog fractions. Here's your bug coffee, Mr. President. Heavy on the cream. Bug weather, cloudy, and I'm in the bug oval office. <laughs> weather report, cloudy, bug assets, 2 million zorkmids, cost to produce bug porn, 10,000 zorkmids, mega per megabyte. How many megs do you want to make? I want to make all the porn, man. Uh, let's, let's do, uh, 200 megs? How many pop-up banner ads? Uh, don't worry, this interface is temporary. Bug software engineers are hard at... Work on Bug Excel 98. How many pop up banner ads each do you want to purchase? Uh, I don't know, 15,000. Alright, let's just, let's say 10. Oh no, that would require 150,000, and I have zero Zork mids. I guess I'll have to go with zero, I'm sorry. What price do you wish to charge for megabyte of bug porn? 100. Impressive wingspan. <laughs> Ooh, such bug porn. Juvenile bugs posing as health inspectors gave your product a thumbs up everybody wants to see. Bugs seemed unaware of porn today. Okay. You made 200 megabytes of bug porn at 10,000 a meg. You sold 56 megs at 100 a meg. Budget, 2 million. GDP, 5,600. Profit, 1,994,400. Assets, 5,600. How many Zorkmas do you want to order the bug Federal Reserve to print? What? <laughs> I don't know, a million. That confident, huh? <laughs> what upgrade would you like to install? Yikes. Yeah, I, I reset, but I, for efficiency, I just went. So I could do meteorology satellites, but I can't afford that. There's bug drugs. I can't afford them. I'll have to wait. Bug weather, sunny. Okay, bug assets, da, da 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 How many megabytes of bug porn do you wish to make? Um, let's say... A hundred? How many pop-up beds? Fifteen thousand Zorkmids each, though. Fifty. Oh no, I only have fifty-six hundred Zorkmids. Oh crap, so I, I blew it. I'll have to go with zero again. Damn. A price I wish to charge. Capitalism tip. Charge more for your product than it costs to produce. Two hundred. This is incredible. Um, the in-house bug porn musician decided to make bug Celtic folk today. Nobody's quite sure what to make of it. Bugs seem unaware of porn today. Uh, da, 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 da. Profits, assets. How many do you want the Federal Reserve to print? Four million. I guess we'll let your successor worry about the inflation problem. <laughs> what upgrade? Hey, look at that. I have four million now. Easy. 
Uh, bug drugs. Drugging the water supply will pacify delinquent bugs, keeping them off the streets and out of trouble. And not, coincidentally, staying home and watching bug porn. Doing it! Bug weather, hot and dry. An outbreak of frog STDs and bug porn actors is driving production costs up. Ah, oh, Weather report, hot and dry. Assets, uh, 2 million Zorkmids. And it costs 12,000 Zorkmids per megabyte? Oh my goodness. How many megabytes do I wish to make? Uh... Oh no, 50. How many banner ads? 50. How much do I wish to charge for a megabyte? 400. What good bug porn. The sensors are working today. There will be no bug porn available at bug retail. The bug porn sensors bought all of your bug porn at lunchtime. I made this and that. Uh, budget, GDP. How many Zorkmans do I wish the Federal Reserve to print? 5 million. I guess we'll let your success story. Uh, uh, uh. What upgrade? Okay, guys. Meteorology satellites, a system of satellites to help your meteorologists provide more accurate and precise weather forecasts. Let's go. Oh, bug weather, thunderstorms. Yuh oh. Weather report thunderstorms, this and that. How many megabytes of porn? 60 for sure. How many ads? 60 for sure. How much do I want to charge? 600,000. 6,000. The in house porn musician decided to make bug hair metal today. Nobody knows what to make of it. But a severe thunderstorm hit. Bug porn is ruined! Ah! Oh, how many Zorkmans do I want to order? There was a, a billion. I can't go that high, so let's go with 10 million. What upgrade? Can I not... How, how do I... How do I get those things? I'll uninstall lock on targeting, I guess. I don't freaking know. Weather report. How many... I guess a bug porn. 100. How many ads? 150. What price do I to charge? 50. <laughs> Ooh, quality bug porn. Juvenile bugs posing as health inspectors gave your product a thumbs up. Yay! Bugs marveled at your low prices and kept coming to your door long after you ran out of porn. Wow, great. How many Zorkmans do you want to order the federal result? I don't, I don't know. 50. That confident, huh? What upgrade? I, oh man, how do I unlock these things? It's gonna cost me so many Zorkmids. I gotta do this. I wanna do what I can. Bug printing press operators formed a union today. The rates went up. Ah! How many megabytes of bug porn? 150. How many ads? 150. How many much do I wanna charge? 65. I get it. Superb performances made today's bug porn too hot. The warehouse burned down! Dude, what is this overlay? What's going on? The hell? That, this is getting weird. I don't know, I guess I'll just lock on target. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get this stuff. How do I get this stuff? Requires padlock bug drive. How do I? This is available, but how do I get it? Oh, oh, oh! That tricked me. The symbol is the padlock. Adding padlocks to bug porn storage warehouses should cut down on shrinkage considerably. Yeah, let's go. Oh, I, I tricked myself. Okay. Weather, thunderstorms. How many megabytes of bug porn? One fifty. One fifty. Oh, I can't afford it. This is bad. Let's do, um, 50. Let's do 20. How much do I want to charge for megabytes of porn? 1,500, please. It's my inability to distinguish you from prey. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The bug sensors bought all my bug porn at lunchtime. How many Zorkmans do I wish to print? Uh, 10 million again, because I could just do that. Upgrade. Hey, presidential swimming pool! This heated pool provides a familiar wet environment in which the bug president can relax. I want that. When you're done taking a break here, we need to get back to work, huh? Am I playing? Uh, I can move. 
Okay. <laughs> Guess I'm doing this now. Left is a no-go. Right? Is a no-go. Down? <laughs> That's how it ends! I take a dive in the pool and play this hardcore music to finish it. That's how it ends. <laughs> the game just stops. That's freaking excellent. Oh, the, the music and sound in this game just kills. The narrator is freaking brilliant. The human. These are the real credits. Voices freaking precious. Jim Crawford, Emily Zushi, Shannon Thompson, Alex Eisner. Let's look at these credits, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh. Too hot for me. We gotta censor this. Mosaic it out, my friends. Watch out for that bug porn. Playtesting. Very nice. Very nice. This music's so intense for the end of Frog Fractions. I hope you all learned something from this experience, by the way. I know I did. I am much smarter on account of having played Frog Fractions. Oh, oh, don't look. Yeah, more, more bug prime. My, my virgin eyes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Clip art, freaking excellent. This music's too good. That's a lot of clip art, too. Ooh, hello. I wonder what this next picture has in store for us. Oh, ah, don't look, sorry. Keep the kids out of the room. Sorry, sorry, don't look, don't look. It's a little much, it's a little much. Not gonna lie, a little much. Background photography, very nice, very nice. NASA. <laughs> That's great. Oh look, an innocent picture of nature. Oh no, my eyes. I'm not I don't know if I'm old enough to look at this. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is not suitable for children. And most adults. Low photography, very nice, very nice. Perhaps this picture will turn things around. No, it did not! Wait, it's not, it's not even censoring the bugs. It's just like the stick of the bridge. <laughs> Additional sound. I fart in your general direction. I get it. It's a Monty Python reference. Additional music, Richard Wagner, Igor Stravinsky, Antonio Vivaldi, really? Oh no, that is some bug porn. I can't look at this. Thanks to... Every time I think I'm out of the woods with this bug porn, they hit me with another. Just when I think it's safe to open my eyes. It is not, my friends. I'm sorry. Memory of Fear number 2. 2007 to 2012. The second of the twin beers, perhaps? Maybe. Good times, though. You gotta admit, good times. Music. Oh, I get a sound test, really? <laughs> it's just a guy going zzz. <laughs> That's Goldblum. And you can buy the soundtrack, right? You can purchase the Frog Fraction soundtrack. Now, Frog Fractions 2, it is available to purchase. I can't in good conscience put a link here, that would be spoilers, but I can link to a Google search asking where Frog Fractions 2 is. You see, amusingly, Frog Fractions 2 came out secretly in the form of a Steam game called Glitter Mitten Grove. Apparently, Frog Fractions 2 is hidden in that game, which is just amazing. <sighs> what a great game. Well, thank you very much for watching this delightful edutainment game. I hope you now have a better sense of fractions and perhaps even decimals and scientific notation. 
Until next time, everyone.